Hey everyone, this is Steven Strong with Cast Iron Cookware Channel. We can find information to help you better collect, restore, and use cast iron cookware. Today we are filming episode 8 of Hunting Cast Iron Cookware in the Wild and we are excited. We are up here at Earl's World of Antique Discovery in Section, Alabama. And we've heard this place is loaded with cast iron and we are excited to check it out. So this place is, is an antique store but it, in a lot of senses it's a lot like a museum because there's a lot of beautiful pieces in here. Okay here we have a little bit of cast iron to get started with. Some nice pieces. Here's a Abel Skeever. I've heard it pronounced a lot of different ways. Abel Skeever, Abel Skeever. Abel Skeever pan. I'm not sure of the maker on this one. It's a little bit newer. You can tell by the casting. We have lots of large cornbread skillets. Looks like from every era we have some newer ones with the uh, the lodge logo on it with the egg skillet. And here's an older one that doesn't have that doesn't have the logo, it just has the eight. This is pretty early. I would say probably, you know, right after Birmingham Stone Ridge came out with them. I would say probably 1970. Here's another one, another vintage lodge. By the way, the, this is thirty dollars. The first one was uh, forty-five. Here's another vintage version, thirty-five dollars. Actually, Birmingham Stove and Range is the, and I mentioned this before, is the company that came out with these. Uh, the lodge will have the hole in it, and I believe Wagner and Griswold even made them as well. But Birmingham Stove and Range was the one who invented it, and everybody else just copied it after that. Here we have an unmarked Wagner square skillet. This is a uh, $45. This unique handle you'll see with the uh, Wagners occasionally. It's squared off at the end. It's just got the little thumb hold. I've seen the uh, the square skillet, also the breakfast skillet with the same design, and the chef skillet. This is a square skillet, unmarked Wagner, $45. Quite a few pieces under here. We have some chicken fryers. Here's a three-notch lodge, number eight. Three-notch lodge, number eight chicken fryer. Usually with Lodge, you'll have the basting, the drip baster lids. These things here are real knuckle busters when you're cleaning them and seasoning them. But uh, it's a nice little chicken fryer and it is unmarked Lodge. It is $53. And it also has, it's a CF. I've mentioned before with their catalog system, they had to come up with a way to not I'll get them confused, a number eight with a number eight skillet. So this one here has CF on it for chicken fryer. So three notch lodge. Here we got a Birmingham stove and range. And this is a century series. You can tell by the by the descriptive size and lettering on the inside that it is a century. And also the the uh, dimples are in a not random order, it's more of a straight line. If you see a red mountain, the dimples will be in a random order. And one thing you'll notice with Birmingham Stove and Range, of course this one here is uh, made in USA, it's a little bit newer and the casting is a little rougher, but it's still a nice piece. With Birmingham Stove and Range, you will always have the pour spout on their Dutch ovens. A lot of times you'll see Lodge, they'll be without the pour spout, they'll be round. I think Birmingham Stove and Range was, was one of the only ones that had the pour spout. But uh, 
nice piece right here and it is $65 this is just like the one that we had our Dutch oven giveaway not too long back and this one here is $60 also with their their drip basting lid this is a nice smooth piece even for a newer casting it's pretty smooth so this in here looks like it has not been milled but the casting is really smooth nice little lodge chicken fryer of course it doesn't have CF on the bottom because it's a newer piece and here we have a lodge Dutch oven and you can tell by the drip basters it is $50 And what I've noticed, a lot of the pieces he has here have not been seasoned. Looks like he's cleaned them and just applied a, a coat of oil. That way when you get them, you don't have to strip them down and start all over again. So this is a nice little lodge. Like I mentioned earlier, the lodge doesn't have the pour spout, which is round. With the Birmingham Stove and Range, the lids will work on the skillets as well because the pour spout, they have a... a uh, pour spout covers on the lids on their Dutch ovens but here we go it's a nice little piece lodge 1950s era ready to start seasoning and cooking in it and uh, on the bottom we have like I mentioned in their catalog system they have DO for Dutch oven this is number eight Dutch oven lodge nice piece $50 this is Dutch oven central right here I'm telling you and I can tell you right off bat, because it doesn't have the pour spouts, that this is a lodge, $40. Get this set down. I like the lodge, and some of the other makers have this nice little curly handle, because it'll help the handle, the bell, set straight up. And like I said before, lodge doesn't have the pour spout like Birmingham Stove and Range does. And this here is a five quart, Made in USA, $40. Here's another number eight lodge. Here's a made in USA version. And it's a number eight made in USA Dutch oven. It's a little newer than the ones that don't say made in USA. And also we have the drip basting lid. And the inside it's not milled, but the casting is really, really smooth. It is uh, $50 as well for this little lodge. We have a crate full of lids right here. Now this, it's made in Taiwan, but it's a hammered, hammered lid, and it's $20. I like this, this hammered, and it's almost like, oh, uh, chicken packing <laughs> you know it's a nice little lid now I usually scoop up all the lids when I run across them now uh, just because you'll always find a piece that needs one lids are kind of hard to find this is kind of similar to a Birmingham stove and range uh, camp oven as far as the uh, as far as the little handle so this like I said it's made in Taiwan but it's, it's pretty cool yeah, I just like <clears throat> we have another little lid I'm not sure the maker. Now little lids like this, well, you'll always find little three-legged bean pots and things that will fit, that these lids will fit on. Here's a lodge lid. Number eight, quite a few lids in this little stack. Here's an odd little lid right here. It doesn't have a price on it. That number eight lodge was $25, by the way. This one here is made to uh, Old coals. This is a small piece. This is probably going to a nice little spider. Now I do want to say he is negotiable on the price. Just because it says 25 doesn't mean 25, but you got to start somewhere, right? And so far the prices I've seen are pretty decent. This here's another little little lid that will work on a Birmingham Stove and Range stew pot. Another Birmingham Stove and Range stew pot lid, 30 bucks. I usually don't spend as much time on lids, but he's got quite a stack of them. Here is a Century number no. 7 lid, and this here is the uh, number 8-B. 
This here is one that's uh, Sentry. And if you ever run across the skillets, actually Birmingham Stove Range quit making the sevens after a certain point and started making these uh, number eight slash sevens. And this one here is pretty cool. This looks like a favorite right here. It's kind of a high dome lid. You can kind of go by the handle, the way the handle is made. It, to me, it looks like a favorite lid. Here is a maid of honor lid. This, uh, I've got one I just run across the other day. This is for a Dutch oven. This is a maid of honor. And when you see these, you can tell them. Once you get one, you know them a mile away. So the Dutch oven is not with it, but you'll find the Dutch ovens by themselves, and it'll say maid of honor across the bottom. And you just about can make it out here made of honor on this one. I see another piece right here. This here is a lodge bunt pan. And this one is the one that has the, the older ones will have a little L right here. And a little bit newer will have a little dot right here. This is a lodge and he's got $100 on this. You know, there was a time where you'd see these go for $200, $250. But Lodge started their Legacy Series. And when the Legacy Series come out, one of their first ones was the Lodge Bunt Pan, which kind of caused the value of these to drop down. So he's got $100 on this one. This is about, about what you'd expect. Used to, they were two or $300. Now they're down around $100. We have a large square skillet, and this is really, really cool. Like I mentioned before, the large cataloging system, it has SQSK square skillet. This is a made in the USA version, and it has the lid that goes with it, which is pretty cool. You know, a friend of mine told me one time, when you're making gravy, a square skillet doesn't work because you keep running into sides when you're turn when you're stirring it. But uh, this is nice. Nice little skillet. And this here is a 1960s era and it's uh, $75. And that is not bad. You don't run across square skillets with the lids as well nowadays. And here we have a number nine Griswold. This here is a really nice piece right here. It's got the matching base. This one is $225. Really, really beautiful. You don't run across these all together. You usually wind up finding these with the, uh, the waffle pans or the waffle uh, the waffle irons separate. This one has got the base that goes along with it. I like the fancy handle on this one. This is a Wardway. You'll see these occasionally. This is a like a number three version. Here's the. Uh, it's got fifty dollars on here. Here's what the handle looks like. It's a pretty little number three. Wardway. A lot of Wagner number threes. And it has the Wagner Sydney O. We have various numbers. This one here is a 1053J, but they're all about range from $25 to $35. We'll see this in here. This is a little newer. This is made by Wagner. And it also is a little newer piece. It is a Wagner uh, General Housewares Corporation. It's got a rougher casting. It's a little newer piece, but it's nice. It's uh, thirty dollars. This one right here. It looks because of the diamond. It looks like a Chicago Hardware Foundry piece, and it may very well be. It says Diamond T. So, I don't know. Like I said, it looks like a Chicago Hardware Foundry piece. 
but I'm not really sure about that. They have $45 on it. There's not a whole lot of history on Chicago Hardware Foundry. Here we go. We have a National Wagner. This is a Wagner Ware Sydney O with National. And it has the outside heat ring, which is nice. And this is a very light piece. I like this piece right here. It's a number nine. And it is $85. It is a nice little piece right here. This is the one to take home. Very, very lightweight. I hear so many people saying that cast iron is just so heavy. I'm telling you, this one here is just as light as a feather. Nice little piece right here. National. The uh, surface is perfectly smooth. Beautiful. $85. I see these so many times. They made an entire uh, series of these. In 1991, they put these out. And they put them out from 1991, and they've done it for three or four years. And these were made to commemorate Wagner's 100 years. They started the business in 1891. Now, I've heard people say, that skillet is so old, it's 1891. It wasn't made in 1891, it was made in 1991 to commemorate their 100 years. And this one here is $32. There's some people who like to collect these. They'll, they'll have the whole set. They had a griddle and all kinds of skillets that went with it. You don't really want to go by the seasoning directions on here, but not bad. Now this is cool. This is a Made in USA Lodge camp oven. The CO is for camp oven. This is a nice little spider Dutch oven. Uh, it doesn't have a lid, but this is a cool piece. $45. It's a little newer because the casting on the inside is a little on the rough side. They're getting hard to find in the vintage state because everybody's snatching them up and using them. Here's one I've got. <laughs> it, it's a little Lodge number 7 flat bottom bean pot. I've got one pretty much just like it. The casting is a little rough on the inside, but it is a Lodge and it is also a Made in USA version. And uh, FBK, flat bottom kettle. And I think the, he's not got a price on it, but he's pretty good about the prices he has here. Now this is cute. This is a number five and a number five lid. I like the small lids with skillets. And this is a skillet lid. Now if it's a Dutch oven lid, it wouldn't have these pour spouts being a lodge. And this set is $50, and it is nice. It's a three-notch, and it's got the, the blob, and it's a number two, so I believe it was a second shift made. You'll see the blob that have one, two, and three on it, and this is a second shift blob. Three-notch lodge. Very cool piece. $55, and that is cute. Here we got a Birmingham stove and range. And this is going to be a Red Mountain Dutch oven. Because it doesn't have the descriptive size, it just says 8X. X could be the mold number. And uh, beautiful. You notice what I mentioned earlier, the dimples on the Red Mountain uh, series of Birmingham Stone Range are just random. You see where there's no order at all. It just looks like they just got carried away and just put a bunch of dimples in it. And that's Red Mountain. It's a little older, a little nicer. And you also have the pour spouts on their Dutch ovens and their skillets. It's really, really smooth. I love Birmingham Stove and Range. You also have the pour spout so you can pour, you can pour your ingredients out a little nicer. You have the tab on the opposite side. It's going to be a little bit of a spinner. Of course, all Birmingham Stove and Range Dutch ovens seem to spin a little. You hardly ever run across one that don't. And for this set, it's $55. Really, really nice. And right here, we have a beautiful monster. I love this piece. This is a spider. Uh, and it's just really beautiful. It's oversized. It's a number 12. 
and he's only got $125 on this one. And I'm telling you, that is beautiful, beautiful. Here's something you don't see very often. I don't see them very often. This is a Birmingham Stove and Range Chef Skillet. I don't currently have one, so here we have the the telltale sign of the Birmingham Stove and Range. Even on the elongated handles, you have the uh, ridge. It's a number 10, $75, Birmingham Stove and Range. And it also has an inspection screw. If they had a piece coming off the line that was a little bit on the uh, uh, flawed side, if something was going wrong and they really weren't sure which mold, because they had several molds involved, they would put a screw in the mold and then when it came out, they'd check it. And if that was the one that they thought was it, they would repair it or take it out of service or do whatever they had to. If it came out with this inspection mark and uh, it was good, they'd put it in another mold and then keep looking. So I see that a lot. A lot of times I have people say, just out of joking, they'll say, this is so you can change the seasoning. Here's a favorite Pequot. I'm gonna show the handle. This is a favorite number eight Pequot wire and they have $75 on this one and it's got the outer heat ring and it's really light and I'm telling you what it is absolutely perfect I don't see any flaws any casting issues at all beautiful little skillet and lightweight too here is a hoss this is a big 16 inch skillet right here got this little little pin sticking out the far side there's the handle and it is heavy this is early 16 inch cast iron skillet it says Civil War era with a question mark behind it you hardly really know but this is a uh, $165 you can almost scrap it for that because it is heavy nice big piece here's a piece right here it says unmarked favorite people but I do believe, or says, or Chicago Hardware Foundry, but I'm pretty sure this is a Chicago Hardware Foundry. They was uh, the diamond people. You usually see the diamond, you, you know Chicago Hardware Foundry. So this is a nice, beautiful little piece. It's a uh, number five. It's $47. Take a good look at the handle, kind of what they look like. Beautiful little piece. Outside heat ring. Here's an unmarked number nine with the outside heat ring on it. Really beautiful piece. The older pieces have the outside heat rings, which is really nice and it's very light. For a number nine, it is very, very light. $85. Not really sure of the maker. I'd probably say I'm Mark Wagner, but not totally sure. Okay, we have three square skillets. This is a Made in USA Birmingham Stove and Range. You can tell by the handle, even the elongated ones, kind of like the chef skillet, has a ridge. And that one is uh, $45. Another pretty much the same skillet, Birmingham Stove and Range. Now, Lodge has those as well. And they look a lot like the Birmingham Stove and Range. Here we go. Here we have a, a number three big block logo Griswold. I got the six, seven, and eight. And this one here has a different handle. That's a different area. You have some with a grooved handle and you have some that's the round handle. And they're two different sets. And this one here is $50 big block Griswold. And there's a little difference. Here is a small block Griswold. And the small block is a little less collectible. But you also have the grooved handle here, which is pretty cool. Let me kind of compare the two. You'll hear big block logo and small block logo all of the time. And here is a comparison right here. Big block, small block.
Here's something that's a little bit exciting. We have some uh, Martin Stoven range. We have the hamburger logos, and we also have the the newer logo, a Monday morning skillet. I've heard the story told a lot that one Monday morning one of the workers came in and with a hangover and set the molds up wrong and wound up putting them upside down. So this one, when you hang it, the Martin Stover range is facing up. But usually, usually it's this direction. See the difference? And I think they run quite a few of them before they figured out what was going on, then they went back and corrected it. I like the Monday morning better because when you hang them up, you can read it. There we go. The Monday morning is $45 for the number three. Martin Stoven Range is fast becoming the Griswold of the South. And this little number eight right here, it is absolutely beautiful. Got a little bit of a casting flaw around the heat ring on the one side. This is called the hamburger logo. And uh, it is $68. And you kind of want to learn how the handles look. Because this is a tale of Martin Stoven Range, even if it's unmarked. You learn what the marked pieces look like. That way, whenever you find an unmarked, you know what it is. This one is $68. Here's a cool little number three. It's got a pretty bad little casting flaw right here. But it's a Birmingham Stoven Range. And it is a Petey Pat's Porch, Atlanta, Georgia. Basically, Atlanta Stove Works, Birmingham Stove and Range was owned by the same people. $35. This here is called the, the newer logo. You hear people call it the newer logo. It is a Martin Stove and Range. Take a look at the handle. Nice little number three. And it's $35. Here's a special. I didn't even see this while ago. Here we go. We got a wall pack. WIP AK. Some of the wall packs are really, really collectible. And even these are collectible. Nice little number three. I like that. $40. Here we have, this is a cool piece, and it is light as a feather. This is a national, really beautiful, number eight. It feels kind of small because it's so light. And they want $55 for it. Let's take a look at the handle. And it's got the outside heat ring. And it is light as a feather. Very nice. Here we go. Here we have an old lodge. And this is what they call the ARC logo. Have you ever heard people say, I got an ARC logo set? This is what they're talking about, the ARC lodge. Nice old lid, beautiful, high dome. The handle is so awesome. This is $85. Beautiful piece right here. Man, if you had the Dutch oven that went with this, You'd be sitting pretty. Raised day, art loco, nice, nice. Art handle, beautiful piece. And here we have a favorite. And you can tell a favorite from a mile away by the handles. And also, of course, the inside. Very beautiful. Four spouts, $50 for this favorite. Okay, here's one that I kind of looked over until the owner kind of pointed out. This is an A, B, and I. And uh, apparently these were made in California by a plumbing company who got in a cast iron cookware for a little while. Beautiful piece. It's got a nice riverboat made in USA, American cookware. And when I looked at it, I didn't really think. I thought maybe it's a lodge. And I got this thing down, and I'm telling you what, it is slick as glass on the inside. And right here, $125. They were, they were not in business for a long time, what I'm hearing. And a very unique piece. 
So number 12, the handle looks kind of like a uh, unmarked, unmarked Wagner a little bit and a little bit kind of like an Asian piece. But this little indention, I was told that it was pretty common on all of their pieces. It's kind of a way to identify it. Very cool piece. Interesting as it can be. A, B, and I. Awesome. Okay, we have really enjoyed ourselves here at Earl's World of Antique Discovery. And I didn't even show, but maybe 20% of the pieces in this place is loaded. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to smash that notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any new videos when they come out. Okay, we got a little extra bonus we're going to be adding to Hunting Cast Iron Cookware in the Wild, Episode 8. If you're going to make the trip to see Earl's, you need to come by and see Lottie Dawes on up in Scottsboro. It's just a few minutes up the road and you don't want to miss out. So we're going to check out Lottie Dawes. She's got a few pieces of cast iron and we're going to see what she's got. So let's go check her out too. Right off the bat, I see a nice little lodge griddle. This is vintage early 70s, $39. Oh, it's a big one. I know it's a Birmingham stove and range. Number 10. It's a big, big skillet right here. And I'm telling you, the reason why I know it's a century is for one, it's made in USA, and two, it has the descriptive uh, sizing on it. Number dot 10, and it's got the Descriptive inches on there too. 99.99. Now we have a red mountain. This is a nice, good little comparison because we have a number 10 century, and now we have a number 10 red mountain. So you don't have any descriptive numbers. You just have the 10, and you have the mold mark. Also, you have the Birmingham Stone Range Telltale Ridge. It's a number 10. This almost looks like it's never been used, but it has because it's got a little bit of a shine on the middle of it, where it's had a little bit of heat applied to it. And it is $89.99. I like Birmingham Stove and Range, and I really love Red Mountain. Okay, we have a three-notch lodge, which is pretty neat. I like uh, lodge. This is $39 and some change. And this is a three-blob. You know... I didn't know about the blobs till not too long ago. Uh, the lodge has the blobs on some of their uh, cast iron pieces. Not the newest ones and not the oldest ones. But the blob is for what shift? This is a number three, which is third shift. And uh, of course it's a number five skillet, which is not five inches. The size number five represents the uh, eye size on the stove. But the three blob, and they call it a blob, is for what shift? And that's third shift. Now, I don't know a lot about these pieces right here. I'm just going to try to ease this one out. I bought one once before at a flea market. Isn't that go? Cool? There's your Dutch oven. <laughs> and I think I paid $15 for it and sold it for $75 on Iron Man. It's even got the, the little eye lifter. So you don't burn your fingers. <laughs> but this is a nice little piece. And it's got the Dutch oven and the skillet and some utensils with it. All the stove eyes. And uh, it's got $75 on it. That is really cool and neat. So here we have a number three made in USA SK for skillet. This is a lodge. And this right here is $24. And this is the way I like to collect pieces that has not been cleaned or anything because I'm going to clean them. That's part of the fun of it, restoring it back to its original state. This is a newer piece, but I've never seen one like it. It's like a corn stick pan, but it's like baby corn. I don't know if it's a toy size or what, $29.99, but uh, very, very cool, very small. I love Birmingham Stove and Range. When I seen this, I surely got excited. Red Mountain, Dutch Oven, Birmingham Stove and Range number eight. And the dimples are just random. There's a little bit of a casting flaw in there, but hey, you're going to get that. Inside, 
is beautiful and it looks like it sits flat it's an 8 with an R number letter for a mold and I'm telling you without sitting it on a piece of a flat like a glass top you can't tell but it looks like it doesn't spin and you don't find a Birmingham stove and range Dutch ovens that don't spin and this one looks nice and uh, she got $99.99, but she said she's negotiable on her stuff. I'm not sure the maker on this one. It's an old gate mark piece, probably made in 1890 or so. And it has the price tag of $65. It's gate marked, and it's got two gate marks on this end and two gate marks on this end. Four gate marks, which is kind of interesting. I like that piece. Now here, I can just tell you from a distance, this is an Asian piece. It does say Taiwan on the bottom. After a while, you'll get where you can spot the Asian pieces from a mile away. But they are still good users. $19.99. You can't beat that. A lot of people say, don't buy Asian. But I'm telling you, Asian pieces are some of the best users that you can find. And not just that, if you're new to cast iron, and you want to try your hand at restoring a piece, try it on one of these. <clears throat> you know, it's really something. Here's another. Here's a good example. So here's a, of course, number one, here's a lodge. This is kind of newer. And it looks like this one has never been used. But I don't think it's ever been used. It's a lodge, and it's got the, the egg skillet logo. And it's a nice piece, and it's only $22. And if you're cooking a steak, this thing is thick and it's heavy, and it will sear a steak like nothing else. So that's a great little piece right there. Just clean that thing up with the SOS pad and put some oil on it and go to town. I mentioned a while ago about Asian pieces. Here's a Asian piece that people a lot of times mistake for a three-notch lodge because they have the three notches, one at three, nine, and twelve o'clock. And it's a, like I said, it's a Korean piece. But as far as a user, you're not going to be able to beat it. It doesn't weigh a lot. The inside has been used, but it can be used again. It'll be a great user. And for the price, fourteen bucks, fourteen ninety nine, you cannot beat it. There's no way you can beat that. I'm highly fond of corn stick pans. And we have two or three different versions. Here we have a Lodge. Let's see if I can get some prices on it. This is $12.99. This is a newer Lodge. And if I can explain it, how you see the little leveler strip on the bottom. That way it sits level inside your oven. This is a little bit newer. They come along with this a little later. And then, a little earlier, they had the little knobs. This is a little older. And you see they have more of a rectangle hole to hang it with. And I haven't got the price on this and it fell off all ago, but I would assume it's somewhere around $20. And here we have another lodge. And see so we have the little knob on the bottom, the leveling knob, and you have a different size hole. So lodge has a history that goes back. And they changed their design up little by little over the years. So you can kind of tell the age and which is older just by that, $15. If you like cornbread, if you like the kind of cornbread I like, Mexican style cornbread, these are awesome. And can you name my favorite corn stick pans in the world? This is the Birmingham Stove and Range. And this is $19.99 and it is a Red Mountain series. You can tell by the large letters that whenever you hold it this way the letters are straight up. If it was century there'd be small letters across one spot right there and they'd be small. This is a Red Mountain. I keep thinking every time I see it since one of my subscribers said I call them bottle cap openers. Every time I see it I think about opening a Coke bottle. We talked about Lodge a while ago about the little little uh, leveling knobs. This has got the leveling knobs and it's got the round hanger hole. 
And this is a five stick, $24.99. If you're making cornbread for yourself, this is what you want. This piece here is uh, just needs to be cleaned a little bit and you're ready to use it. And this one here, she okay. has, she has $129.99 on it. And it is nice. To be so big, it's not as heavy as you think. And it's got two gate marks on it. This is where they poured it. It sets on legs, and this is a nice piece. I would like to take this one home with me, but it doesn't look like I brought enough cash. I've already spent a little bit on this trip, so I might have overdone it. But uh, that's a nice piece right there. I really like it. You don't really know who the maker is, but I'm sure it was made probably around the turn of the century. Not this century, 1900 century. Probably 1890 to 1920, maybe. So we have really enjoyed ourselves here at Lottie Dawes. We went down to Earl's and then we came back up here to Lottie Dawes. And I tell you what, the sirens are going off and the tornado warnings are going off. And you know, we're just here just looking around. So we're gonna get safe and get home. I hope that you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I promise to keep more of them coming. Thanks again for watching the Cast Iron Cookware channel.